Welcome to Bourbon School. I'm Lauren. And I'm Marie Ann, and I get to be on the main stage today. Yay! And we are going to do a blind of some French oaked bourbons. Which Marie Ann loves. Can't wait to try Ooh, these. Oh, I can't wait to talk about it. <laughs> All right, so this is a, we, you were on the main stage today in part, well, this was your idea. You uh, have lots yeah. of ideas, but this one we wanted you on for because you are the biggest fan ever of French oak. And it just happened bourbon. last week. Yeah. Oh my God, I, I, am, I am crazy about French oak bourbon now. So what is it that sets it apart from regular bourbon for oh, you? Okay, so first let me tell you that we did a uh, barrel tasting at mm -hmm. Midnight Liquor uh, last week, hey Herman. Um, for Old Louisville, um, and there were five samples, mm -hmm. um, and they were all very, very different. Okay. Um, and I know, I keep saying, um, I'm going to try to stop that. So sample one, two, three, they were, they were just meh for me, mm -hmm. and then I got to four, and it was delicious. Mm -hmm. You know how when you do your blinds, mm -hmm. you always put your... your I rank, thing. yeah. That's correct. So I took mine and I went mm -hmm. and I put it all the way out on the table <laughs> like this. And uh, then we had the fifth one. And four was, was clearly the winner among mm -hmm. everybody. Everybody agreed on four. And it was a French oak. Mm -hmm. And it was this unique, mm -hmm. delicious flavor. When we left and we got in the car, I told Brian, I said, B, that really reminded me of a winter bourbon. Mm -hmm. um, and it's going to, to retail for $87, mm -hmm. and I am totally fine buying it because mm -hmm. it was such a unique and distinct flavor. It reminded me of turning on the fireplace, mm -hmm. getting under a blanket, snow is coming down, mm -hmm. and the flavor I got was that delicious, smoky mm -hmm. flavor that we love in a Woodford. Yep. But this time, it tasted to me like a fireplace mm -hmm. was going up my nose. Mm -hmm. It was so. <laughs> I don't know if that sounds good. For oh me. <laughs> God! It was it was a, a delicious delicious taste. And is, so, did, wait, were you guys doing a pick or are you just doing a taste? We did a pick. You did a pick. So, so we you picked, picked four? four. Was the pick? Oh, so I'm wow. super excited about okay. it. And maybe when it comes out, Santa might deliver one to you oh, as well. Okay. I th it is that worth. It is, is it, it's worth that it. good. Yep. And so we were talking about this video and mm -hmm. Brian said let's get a maker's French mm -hmm. oak to oh, and which compare I really some. Like that. Oh my god. I haven't had I haven't had this. I don't think so. Have I Brian? We've had the Amberana. Okay. Oh but which I don't that. like yeah, cinnamon. We've just gotten that I've had this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh this will be interesting. Mm -hmm. So you can see we just bought this this weekend yeah. and you already I put a hurt on it. It, it mm -hmm. is delicious. It is now up in my absolute top flavors mm -hmm. of bourbon. Absolutely love it. So yeah, before we start, yeah. I just want to you know to talk about what French oak means. It's a teacher in us. <laughs> Vocab session, right? The aging process is supposed to just bring out some of the flavors mm. in the oak, and then they're placed inside the barrels for the aging process um, when they're finishing the bourbon. So that's where we're going to get the, the taste of the French oak coming. As far in. as I'm concerned, the French have it right. Yeah, and it's supposed to add like a very silky texture. Mm. And, Subtle, more subtle flavors to the bourbon. It's so really good. Real strong, strong flavors. Okay. So. All right. So are we going to taste these on camera taste. and then cut and then? Sure. Yeah. Let's do yeah. That. That's, okay. Yeah. We haven't done a blind in a while. Very long time. And this is the first one Brian has ever set up for us. Oh. Usually I'm doing this part of the job. I'm we'll excited. Start these are. I start on our wait. left. Okay. They already smell it amazing. It smells amazing. This first one smells delicious. Oh, see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They're mm. all similar proof. One oh, that one's like ninety four. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And then the Penelope's one oh four. Okay. The RD one is one oh one. Okay. Now we had this RD in Maine, and I didn't really care for it mm -hmm. very much. I'm wondering how you know where it's we'll going to line yeah. up for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. This first one was delicious. Okay, so this is one of your picks from Maine, one of your hauls. Yes, correct. Okay. Well, this is very good. Mm -hmm. Um, it tastes like a, an oaked mm -hmm. bourbon, so that's good for it the start. It smells very sweet. It smells very sweet. Mm -hmm. It's it's very easy going down. Mm -hmm. There's a, there isn't much of a burn. Mm -mm. It's making me think it might be the lower proof one. I agree. But let's go let's on to the see. next one. Now this th these two smell distinctly different. This is not as sweet. Not at all. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a little more alcohol coming off of mm -hmm. this one. I agree with that. Ooh. Now hmm. this one doesn't taste as oaked. No, it has a sharper mm -hmm. flavor to it. I'm getting more of a bitter. 
a bit yeah, of finish definitely. So on not that one. Not nearly as sweet as the first sample. I agree. But then, you know, we'll go back and retest because well, the yeah. order does matter when it, you do these. Yeah, so we'll go back the other way. Yes. Okay, buddy. I will do whatever you say. You're the expert. <laughs> Oh yes, I'm an expert. You're you're an expert. You've done many more blinds than I have done. <laughs> They're fun. I love blinds. Ooh, see this. Also, one there's smells. like the air of competition where you're like, all right, who's gonna guess them yeah, right? And yeah, yeah. You know, I did one fun. blind with Brian, mm -hmm. and I got them all right when right. I was subbing for I'm you in, in London. No, don't be scared. I, it was just dumb luck. <laughs> this one. Ooh. I'm, I'm getting like, a wood chip. A little bit of a wood chip. Uh, smell on it. Okay, I am getting a urine smell on this one. Oh, good lord. <laughs> That's awful. I know. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> ooh. And, yeah. Oh, this is very bitter. I don't like oh, this Oh, I don't one. like this one at all. This um, is very gross. Yep. Okay, okay. So, I think I, I actually think I know which are which. <laughs> you do? Mm -hmm. I think I do too. Oh. But we'll, we're going to pause Taste it again. We'll come, come back, back and do and our and ranking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, we're on. Okay. Okay. All right, so we just tasted again, backwards, forwards. We're laughing because Maria and... Oh, right? right. We're you still counting I us thought, in. I thought it was on. And we were still laughing about my chair. It's okay. It's good. It's a good it's way to come back. On. Oh, I thought it, I thought we were already on, so I was just gonna go with yeah, it. Yeah, go. You're fine. We're on. We were just laughing because Maria needs booster chair. Okay. And it's not helping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still short I stack. Know, still a little, my little baby. Okay. So, um, <laughs> tasted frontwards, backwards here. We actually our initial impressions were, you know, pretty consistent yep. as we tasted back and forth. So we, of course, agree because we usually do. Always. A B C. Mm -hmm. A right being down. far superior than the other two. Exponentially mm -hmm. better than the other two. And, yeah. you know, Brian said behind the camera while we were tasting again, second mm -hmm. and third time, he said, you really do need to taste things two to three times. Yeah. So I, I I gave it another fair mm -hmm. shake and I touched Lauren back here. I said it was she giving me the tingles. It was oh, giving me the goosebumps, yeah. like that kind of not nice goosebumps. No. And it did not have a very oaky flavor at all. There was no oaked no flavor in there no it just it, it it didn't have much going on i just didn't I just, yeah it didn't taste like a french oak i think it was false advertisement yeah. which is why i think getting to our number one mm -hmm. pick this one was sweet smooth yep. silky and you could taste the oak flavor it's beautiful now would you agree that like this is a definite like a a winter pour oh, absolutely right this is really really good mm -hmm. the middle one was a little bit bitter on the finish but it was very oaky it did so we said okay that one's in the middle. yes but this one really lacks if, oak flavor. I agree. And mm -hmm. if we're doing a comparison of French oak, mm -hmm. you've you better, got better taste you that. Better oak. come forward with your mm -hmm. come correct with yes. your oak flavor. <laughs> come correct. Okay. So, do you want to guess what you think they okay. are? Well, I'm. I have not tasted this one, but because I really like these two, mm -hmm. I'm going to put this in third place. I agree. Okay. Yep. Now, for me, this is a toss up for the initial because mm -hmm. I really like Maker's Mark. Mm -hmm. But Penelope, I think, might make a superior product here. Okay. So I'm going to go, I'm ta my instinct is to go with Maker's Mark mm -hmm. as number one, but I'm going to go with Penelope, Maker's, and whatever this crap and is. And I'm going the other way. You're going to do all your Maker's, gonna Penelope, and RD. Right. RD1. It's Brian. <clears throat> okay. Uh, the red sticker, you're the one you both put in third place. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry. That's the red sticker. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, That's RD1. RD1. Okay, okay we, we got that one, we right? We got that one. Okay. The yellow sticker. Okay. Which is the middle one. Yep is Maker's Mark. Oh, you got it. Good job. So you both picked Penelope. Wow. Penelope. This is Because so I love good. that Maker's. I, Like I said, I put a hurting on it. I know. Ooh. But this well, good Penelope, job. Penelope. You know what? You had recency bias because you just had this mm -hmm. and you liked it. I but did. But compared to the Penelope, it, did, it, it was okay, mm. but it didn't stand out. It wasn't as sweet. Well, good job to you, lady. Cheers. Cheers. Wait, cheers to Penelope. Okay. Well, cheers, we'll cheers to again. you. Well, we will, but I just wanted to cheers to your expert <laughs> yeah. oh, um, thank you. blinding. That was excellent. Yeah, so um, if you guys want to let us know what you like, which French oaked bourbons you like, mm -hmm. let us know in the comments. Yeah, We'd I'd love, love to, to find some more. And yeah, I know. Yeah, if mm -hmm. you've got one to recommend beyond Penelope, because that was really the clear one right here. Clear. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. um, and wait, Brian, before we go on, how much is this bottle? So the cheapest is the Makers. That's $40. Okay. okay. 
the Penelope is 65. Mm -hmm. The RD1 is 70. Not worth it. It's the most expensive one. See, this is why we're budget people. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can get a very good bottle for I mean, cheaper, a little bit less. Seriously, mm -hmm. these these two are outstanding mm -hmm. bottles. Um, but Lauren is correct. This is this is a it's miles above even this. Mm -hmm. So I would pay a little bit more mm -hmm. um, for for a delicious for product. Yeah, Absolutely. For sure. mm -hmm. All right, if you liked our video, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and ring the bell for notifications. So you never miss another episode of Bourbon School. With that was Marianne. fun. Yay! Cheers, Cheers. Lauren.